Hello and welcome my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to detect chat GPT content or other AI written content using this special tool. So as you can see I'm in my chat GPT um, dashboard. I'm just going to go ahead and you know create something really quickly just click on any kind of prompt and let chat GPT generate some kind of sample data or a sample question and then I'm just going to take this output when it's completed and I'm going to throw it into this special tool and show you how well it works okay and why is this important it's important because if you're going to be using AI tools you want to make sure that it uh, comes up as original and it doesn't be come up as AI because it will not be able to generate as much traffic or rank all right so now it's done let me go ahead and copy this response okay and then I'm gonna go into my second tool and this tool is called originality.ai and this is amazing it's an amazing tool because it can detect AI and plagiarism all right so I'm gonna go ahead and and plop it in here and if you use it to detect AI it costs uh, one scan will cost one credit and then if you use it to detect uh, plagiarism it, it doubles it's just basically two credits now I'm gonna I would just use it to detect AI okay and I'm going to go ahead and, and scan now all right so as you can see with ChatGPT. It even shows up mainly as 65% AI and 35% original. Um, that's not too bad, but it still comes up as AI, right? Predominantly AI. And what you want to do is you want to, you know, put your own spin into this. And there's other tools that you can use that I'll, I'll show you in which you can, um, you know, kind of make it more uh, human-like, right? So that's the good thing about this tool is that it, it detects it so why, why is this important because well if you're going to be hiring a freelancer on fiverr or upwork you want to make sure that you're you know you're paying for originality and you know you're not getting some kind of ai uh ai produced content because you can do it yourself for cheaper why would you pay a freelancer to you know do something you can do right and, and they charge you like triple or quadruple for it and the other thing you can do that really that's really important is if you have a website so you can go to website scan let me click on this and you can go ahead and uh, enter in your URL to scan your, your website and it will go ahead and scan all your blog articles and tell you you know which one needs you know improvement and so on and so forth now real quick let me show you how this works this works basically on a balance so there are some downsides with originally.ai and the downside is that there is no free account so when you i mean you can sign up free but you know you have to purchase credits in order to quote unquote try it out it's not much it's 20 dollars um and i think it's fair because uh what it does is is you know basically is very unique as a service it it can detect ai uh, written content fairly well and then lastly over here you have my team so you if you're using um, a remote worker or virtual assistant you can go ahead and enter in their email name and their role and they can go ahead and, and use this to go ahead and detect um, AI content and then you have credits let me show you how the credit system work so you know I, I purchased 20 uh, sorry 2,000 credits for $20 and then this is the receipt I just purchased it today and uh you know that that's pretty much let me see if there's anything else yeah that's pretty much it so let me go back to content scan and i'll, I'll show you i'll show you the, the the original piece i got scanned flagged up at 65 all right now what i like to do is i like to go into a tool called quillbot and use that tool in order to kind of you know rewrite it all right and it comes off as um a higher score now let me let me show you what i mean by that real quick so if i go into quillbot all 
right? And then from here, you enter in that, that text, you paraphrase it. Okay, and then you can you can paraphrase it, you know, different different styles, like a fluency uh, to make it formal. I like to do standard. Okay, and the great thing about Quillbot is it's been out for, wow, years. It's been out for a lot of these other um, AI tools, you know, maybe just popped up within the last maybe two two years, maybe three. But this Quillbot's been around for longer than that, maybe five or, or so longer, much many more years before that. And it, it, it it's always improving. So I highly recommend it. Uh, so basically, here is here is everything. You can just go ahead and rephrase it. Okay. And then you can go to the next line and rephrase that. And, you know, keep going all the way down until you, you get what you like. Uh, maybe I'll just do one more. Okay. And then I'll copy this full text. I just changed a few of them around. Okay, paste it in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now scan. Okay, and as you can see, it's 93% original, 7% AI. Yeah, so you know people are always really quick to say, "Oh, AI tools, you know, it can get detected, and and you know it doesn't count for anything." Look, a tool is only a tool is just a tool. It's only as good as the operator. Okay, so. You know, if you just, you know, plop in something and then you, you get the concept straight from the AI and you just plop it down, of course, it's not going to work. You know, you're going to have to make it your own. You're going to have to add your own input. You're going to have to check the grammar and so on and so forth. So I always, always stress within my course that, you know, you have to kind of put your own spin to your AI content uh, in order for it to be unique and, and, and your own. Right, whether it's AI content for uh, you know, blog post or video or book, whatever, whatever you're making, you know, I, I, I show in my course the, the entire steps to use AI uh, tools so you can generate content the smart way, efficiently, quickly, and also so that it counts. Uh, so you, you use certain tools like this and other tools as well in order to create high quality content. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital, Med Digital Medicine. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.